It's Saturday, fifth uh, of September. Uh, we're on our way out of uh, Grand Marais up to Mink Mountain in Wild Hogs. <laughs> Anyhow, we're on our way up to Mink Mountain in Ontario to do a hike up up on that. Um, it's gonna be hard, kind of hard to get any good views of Lake Superior today. We're dealing with some pretty substantial fog yet. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully it burns off a little bit. So uh, we're gonna go across at uh, the Grand Portage crossing um, over the Pigeon River. Then I think we have about 40 miles or something up to uh, where we're gonna start our first hike. And depending on how that one goes, the uh, plan today is to uh, try to come back down and do a finger point also that's on the, uh, just across the border from the US and where the Pigeon River comes out into uh, Lake Superior. So maybe depending on how the fog this afternoon might be able to see back into Minnesota. Got anything, Mel? No. No. All right, uh, we're just about to the border now. I should be across here in about 10 or 15 minutes. It's Teal Lake, last lake in Minnesota. focusing even... got the uh, conversion over kilometers per hour on the speedometer now it looks weird I'm moving though no real reason to check this out look at this Nice country. I like how you have to go out to the main highway to get your mail. You notice that? Uh huh. Mink Mountain Trailhead. Visibility is really hazy today. It's hard to see down on the Lake Superior in front of us. But uh, here's the trailhead. You go uh, past the past the resort, um, go to the T, take a left, and it's probably about a quarter mile, half mile from when you turn left where the trailhead's at here. So, we are looking at uh, entry point three right here. So, we'll be going up, 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 and then up into this area here. Probably go all the way around. So, you can look at the Sturgeon Bay or cut off or lookout up here, too. That looked pretty impressive. And let's work our way back down around here, come back out. Total distance probably about three miles, three and a half miles. So it's a pretty steep starting out. It goes up, 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 and up. It's like doing Eagle Mountain, but uh, right off the bat. Make an adjustment on it. They what? They what? It's not in meters. Okay. Up. <laughs> Which way? This is the one that makes the uh, ring around the entire crest. 
Go on the top. This one? We're gonna go either way. We're gonna come right back here to go down one, so. Well, sure? What's the number on the other side? On your left side? Seven. So yeah, this should be the, uh, this should be it. Yeah, we're almost at the top of Mink Mountain. Looking out to the east here. Looking northeast towards Pie Island. And I don't know if it's going to show up or not. It's really hazy all today. But just beyond Pie Island, look, probably on the video it looks like just a dark line going across. But that's uh, Isle Royale National Park. You can see the full length of it from up here, so very pretty view though. The trail coming in here is pretty steep at times. Um, just take your time, go up, watch your footing. If it's wet, it's slippery. Yeah. Now here during berry season there's probably wild raspberries and blueberries growing up here, I'm guessing. But. Pretty cool. So, sitting at this really cool overlook, um, almost at the top of Mink Mountain. Show you something here. It's a very nice digital camera with a wide angle lens with no card. I have six cards and they're all down there somewhere. This is my wife who hasn't stopped laughing since I figured this out. Oh. So anyhow, uh, this will be a photoless hike today and we have to make do with the video. Really don't have all much other to say than, yeah, I don't know how many times I've done this now. It's really kind of funny that I keep an extra card in my vehicle in the event I remember my camera, but forget my card. Well, this time I remember the camera and about oh, two miles, mile and a half below us, 600 feet down is the cards. Uh, stiffen up right away? Just that knee that I banged. Oh. Yeah, that could end up be a, being a player for tomorrow. Well, so. Let's see. Maybe we'll let you and Jeff go and Addie and I'll so nurse I wounds. smell as bad as the U.S. is doing.
We are at uh, Finger Point. So we uh, cross the border at the uh, Pigeon River Station here. So we're going to uh, hike along the edge of the uh, lake. Is this visitor center closed? I think so. Okay. And climb up to this uh, overlook point here. So we'll actually be looking back south. Oh. Into Minnesota, then. As a two dollar per vehicle fee. And just for the record, I'm not a big Bon Jovi fan. And underwear. There's all the driftwood that they're talking about. So this is Little Pigeon Bay. That's Pigeon Point all the way across. That's the U.S. That's Minnesota all the way across the bay. So. I like that. Hour and a half. Yeah, I can say this is probably the calmest it's ever been when I've been up here. I've never seen it this calm. Can you gonna make it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, right before you get to the uh, summit, if you want to call it that out here, it's uh, very steep. So let's be prepared. Well, this is yeah, this is the end of the uh, finger point trail. Almost sat down. Holy cow. Last part of that uh, hike's pretty steep. A lot of rocks, but yeah, it's totally worth it. What a view. One last look around before we head back. Okay, we're just about back uh, off the end of the trail. Let's give you an idea um, where we came from. This is where the uh, top of that lookout is at. So, um, pretty steep, especially like I said in the last part of that climb. Um, if you've got small kids with, I don't know. It's pretty slippery too. There's a lot of scree coming down and going up um, kind of off on the south side of that. So anyhow, we're just about uh, ready to head back and uh, Call it a day here. got these uh, boards in the boardwalk here that are shaped like paddles. It's kind of one of the attraction things for the area. And the boardwalk goes that way, out to the little Pigeon Bay. And our boardwalk goes back to our car this way.